VIP Maya diaper always the right choice. VIP Maya diaper time, 19 hours one. <laughs> This is the news on top of the hour. Live from our studio in Georgetown. Kite Radio, 99.1 FM. Good evening and welcome to this evening's newscast right here on a Kaiju Radio. I am Kevin Smith. Let's get to the news in detail. ExxonMobil continued to speed ahead with preparations for its intended PR development in the Starbrook block, despite no formal approval from the government yet on the company's third well. The construction of the vessel, called Prosperity, is underway in Singapore. SBM Offshore, the company Exxon tasked with building the vessel, did not make the announcement via official press release, but several credible media reports indicate that it received the hull in Singapore from Chinese shipbuilder Shanghai Waigakiao Shipbuilding. In other news, moving ahead with its development agenda that will see an enhancement of traffic flow along the East Bank of Demerara Corridor, the government has retailered the Ogle to Diamond Bypass Road project to conform with the loan available to execute the major works. Minister within the Ministry of Public Works, Diorat Indar, said the new four-lane East Coast Bank linkage project will extend from Ogle to Higgs Bosch rather than to Diamond. This move will spare taxpayers approximately 158 million US dollars. The minister further confirmed that India has accepted the new design for the roadworks. As such, the government is moving ahead to implement the project that was stalled for five years under the former APNU AFC coalition administration. And now let's tell you that President Irfan Ali reaffirmed his government's commitment to ensuring the survival of the sugar industry by implementing a comprehensive strategy. The issue is a major one, as Ali had promised on the campaign trail to reopen estates. However, there have been warnings that move would be like throwing money into a bottomless pit unless there is a proper plan. The head of state noted that the survival of the sugar industry depends heavily on the government intervention at this time. He also reminded that the former administration failed to conduct a socio-economic study of the viability of the industry before closing the estates. And now let's tell you that in 2018, a previous APNU AFC administration had awarded a contract to Courtney Bend Contracting Services Limited to construct a brand new state-of-the-art St. Rose's High School. The construction of this school, which carried a price tag of $352.7 million, was anticipated to commence in August of 2018, and the media was informed that the construction was envisioned to last 18 months. That 18-month period, however, 
has expired with six additional months, thereby making it two years have passed and despite the contractor receiving an advancement totaling to $60 million, no significant mobilization works have commenced at the Church Street work site. In other news, an early morning visit by Minister of Public Works, Juan Edgel, was conducted yesterday to assess the conditions of the Transport and Harbour Goods Wharf in the city. The wharf is where the North West Ferry would moor, but there have been increasing complaints of the conditions there. The minister was accompanied by General Manager of Transport and Harbour's Department, Marceline Merchant, along with her technical staff and a tenant with a lease agreement from Johns Fernandes Limited. According to the ministry, the idea was to conduct an evaluation and a site visit to determine the improvements that are to be done at the facility. According to the chief executive officer, Philip Fernandes, at the GFL, the company has signed a lease agreement with the government of Guyana to have possession of a section of the property occupied at the TNHD Good Wharfs. In other news, there will be more emergency works at the Damarara Harbour Bridge with the last retraction expected tomorrow with contemplation of the introduction of a barge to transport heavy vehicles. Minister of Public Works Juan Edgel convened a meeting of a high-level technical team that included Minister of Home Affairs Ropes and Ben Jerry Margovaya of Industrial Fabrications, Marcel Gaskin of from Marcel Gaskin and Associates, retired specialist in bridges and designs, Joseph Holder, and others. According to the Minister of Public Works, it was decided that a time-sensitive engineering solution is being finalized. In other news, the treatment meted out to the officials of GCOM by investigators in connection with the probe into the protracted March 2nd elections will only seek to anger the public and result in a loss of community police relations. Sharing this view was former Public Security Minister Kamraj Ramjatan. He explained that the members within the new leadership of the Criminal Investigation Department arm of the police force have, quote-unquote, completely somersaulted on the well-known best practices and legal positions regarding the arrest and detention of suspects, with particular emphasis on the GCOM officials. And now let's tell you that the Ministry of Education has announced the provision of free access to 4,000 certified online courses following a partnership with the Commonwealth of Learning. Courses are being offered by Ivy League universities and other reputable institutions in areas of study such as arts, business, computer science, health and engineering sorry, on the online platform Coursera. Upon completion, all students will be presented with a recognized certificate, government said. The initiative is aimed at providing online learning to equip persons with the necessary skills for the job market and creating a stage for high performance in an evolving technological world. And now for your COVID-19 tips. The coronavirus disease or COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. Most people who fall sick with COVID-19 will experience mild to moderate symptoms and recover without special treatment. The virus that causes COVID-19 is mainly transmitted through droplets generated when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or exhales. These droplets are too heavy to hang in the air and quickly fall on floors or surfaces. To prevent the spread of COVID-19, clean your hands often, use soap and water or an alcohol-based hand rub, maintain a safe distance from anyone who is coughing or sneezing, wear a mask when physical, physical distancing sorry, is not possible, don't touch your eyes, nose or mouth, cover your nose and mouth with your bent elbow or a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Stay home if you feel unwell, and if you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical attention. And that's it for your COVID-19 tips.